Hey folks, Quilly Team here, welcome to another game of Through the Ages, A New Story of Civilization, a real-life board game that I like very much that also has an excellent digital version here. Done a few videos for it before, we're going to be diving in again, because this is one of those things that I kind of keep playing, and I'm like, you know what? Let's record an episode. Now, we could do a normal game, but what I'm going to do is go and do one of these challenges, which are insanely hard, some of them, uh, especially the one we're going to do today, the so-called Super Epic Game. It's a four-player game, so us plus three opponents. Our opponents all start with 180 culture each. Note that culture is how you win the game, and 180 culture is, I mean, sometimes it's literally what you score over the course of the game. Actually, sometimes you don't even make it 180. Uh, it is listed as nightmare difficulty for a reason. I don't remember if I've done a video of this attempt before. I don't know. I mean, I've done it for 30, 60, and 90, but 180 is crazy. Now, the game is longer. Ah! Uh... Yeah, okay, quite a bit longer, um, because there's an extra copy of each yellow card and each technology card. So it is a lot longer. Um, and what we're going to have to do is make sure that our culture per turn basically starts to accrue as quickly as possible. Now, as far as I know, they start with no other advantages here. No, just raw score, which is a lot. Now, if you haven't seen this before, um, the graphics in, in this are super impressive to look at, uh, but it is, it, it's very functional. It's basically inherently a card game with a bit of a drafting system here. We've got um, civic actions, which are these white dots over here, and military actions. Now, this first round is very, very special. Uh, first player gets one action, the second player gets two, and so on, um, and it can only be used to take cards. This is just your initial gra draft over here. Uh, we could go, so grabbing the cards from this section costs one civic action, these cost two, these cost three. We could go and grab either Colossus or the Hang Gardens, both are quite excellent, and actually, well, they're, they're both okay. Hang Garden can give us that initial, um, culture tick. We could also grab a leader, but I think the strong thing to do here is to grab the Urban Growth and the Rich Land cards over here. They're quite nice. Um, they give you a discount to building... A one is for farming and mining, and the other is for all your urban buildings over here. So either way, we should get a little bit of an extra rate. All right, so here's yellow taking the regular turn. I do have the game speed set to the absolute maximum here, so the player's turns go really quickly. Um, and, and that's okay. Usually the individual steps that they do don't really concern me too much. It's mostly the question of what is their current state in terms of military and whatnot. Um, and even early on, it's not like great. Okay, the Library of Alexandria is available for us. This is a wonderful wonder, not to be too redundant there. Gives one culture per turn and one science per turn. It's really nice. Also lets you hold on to extra cards. It's not as critical, but it's actually also kind of nice. I'm absolutely gonna take an action to start this. We're not gonna rush to build it. We're gonna need a total of three actions and six minerals to build this thing. We can go and wait, but I wanna make sure it doesn't go away. Standard first turn move tends to be grow your pop and then also grow your mining by one. The fact that we have urban growth does make me sort of consider building um, the uh, the next lab, the philosophy lab, uh, right away, which normally you don't get to do immediately. It would start to generate a lot more science for us as early as possible, which is nice because, I mean, science doesn't use um, any of your cubes or anything like that, so you can accrue, accrue a lot. We're going to get plenty with, um, with our library, though. Um, the other thing to consider is, you know, leaders and things like that. I mean, if we take an action... <sighs> Let's go for philosophy. I think that's going to be a good move. And then the question is, do we take Moses? I mean, he lets you grow your population a little cheaper, which is nice. You can grow your pop a little faster. Generally speaking, you, you just run into happiness limits um, rather than actual population limits, really. I think I'm going to grab the engineering genius, which will save us a fair amount of minerals when building um, this, that second stage of our wonder. I think this is probably an okay way to operate. Now, any unspent military actions you have let you draw political cards. So we're going to have access to those next turn. He picked Julius Caesar. Uh-huh. Oh, we actually could still grab a leader here, which isn't too bad. Aristotle in particular is not bad. I think, um, so now we have a politics phase. I think we're going to put new deposits in the event deck. Um, it's perfectly safe and fine to do. And all the antiquities events are perfectly fine and positive. So we're going to do that. Now, that's interesting. Either gain two food or two production. Uh, if we gained two uh, minerals, I said production, but minerals, if we gain that, we'd actually be able to finish the Library of Alexandria this turn, because normally we cost six, but we have an engineering genius, so we only need a total of four. Uh, 
Um, it's also quite nice to grab the food just to help you grow a lot faster, but I think this becomes the power move. And I, then I think our move becomes um, build the first stage for one. The second stage will use the card to get a discount and third stage will build it there. So now we've got one culture per turn and one science per turn. And in fact, if we built this early, our science is actually gonna be really good. We actually could potentially consider skipping the alchemy, which is interesting. Um, I only have one action left. I could grow my pot, but we don't need to do that. I can't build anything there. I can't recruit any troops, so probably grab a card. The question is, do we still grab a leader at this point? We don't have a lot of antiquities left. Aristotle, Aristotle's pretty good. We're likely gonna wanna take some technology cards because we'll have plenty of tech. I mean, he continues to give you more tech, but we sort of combo on that. Hammurabi, um, not really all that useful. Taking a leader card from the row costs you one less civil action. I'm partially tempted to just maybe just wait and grab an age one because more of them are going to be coming. I mean, you sort of get a return from it, but I, Aristotle might give us a little science, but I'm not convinced that's going to be the case. Um, and instead, it might be better to get grab Engineering Genius one. Gives us a discount of three to a wonder going forward. And I think um, a certain amount of like culture wonder spam is going to be very helpful for us. So I think I'm kind of okay with this. We shall see. Now, soon enough, we're going to have to be a little bit worried about some people taking military actions against us. Uh, if we can grab, like, Swordsman, that would be quite nice. I think we should be able to. I mean, there's two on there. So we should be able to take a Swordsman card with one action, which, yeah, would be would be really helpful. Politics phase over here. Now, both of these are cards that will punish the weakest civilization. Um, we're unlikely to become the strongest, but we can probably avoid being the weakest. So we're going to play that. Playing an event is good, too, because it always gives you a culture. Pops this, which will let us build a temple for free. Absolutely, we would like to do that. Now, we probably want to keep an extra population around, because there still might be a card in here that lets us build a warrior for free, which wouldn't be too bad. I think we want to grab the swordmen. We may want to develop them right away. No, I think what I'm going to do, actually, is I'm going to use a rich land to go and get bronze going on. I know that leaves us without an idle person, but I think we do want to get our production up a scooch. And then what we can do here is we can grab Breakthrough, um, which will let us develop technology a little cheaper. And I think that's still okay. So we're generating cult two culture per turn. So we're generating more than anyone else per turn right now. Of course, we're still super far behind the curve. This is going to be a really, really difficult challenge. Uh, by the way, be fully, be fully prepared to, that I'll just lose this one. That's just the reality of this. University of Carolinas um, is quite nice. Uh, one culture passively per turn is nice, and then more science as well. Um, that might be, we might have to pay a little extra to grab it, but it's okay. Development of politics, everyone draws a bunch of cards. Development of trade routes. Oh, he used uh, Julius Caesar's ability to play two event cards in one turn. And then he picked up uh, Michelangelo. All right, well, good for him. Development of science, so we get some more of that. Uh, we're going to be able to pick up a code of laws, which is wonderful. And we're well set up to be able to pay, play it uh, fairly well. Um, Liberation. Happy faces. Uh, I don't know if we're set up to be that. I think what we're going to do is we're just going to load up um, one of these territory cards. I think we'll end up putting both in, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, okay, we get some extra ore. So we've got a lot of resources spent. In fact, we're going to have to spend a lot of resources. Certainly, we're going to want to do food. Um, damn. I kind of feel like we sort of have to develop the swordman. I mean, this breaks through. I mean, at the very least, we'll upgrade this warrior. But I think we'll actually recruit a warrior. There's no Antiquities card, so we don't have to necessarily save a person anymore. We're at Strength 4 now. So we can't take the University, because um, it would be two actions normally, but it, it, taking Wonders costs plus one for every Wonder you've completed. Um, but that's okay. I think for my last... Two, I, I, I mean, we could switch it around, so we could. But I think I'm going to be very happy to take Code of Laws, and I think Irrigation as well. Yeah. We're going to have the science for it easily. Code of Laws will blow this an extra action. I suppose, okay, instead of, hold on, this is better. I will play Code of Laws, giving me an extra action, which then allows me to take irrigation. Wow, that, I almost made a big mistake there. That's very nice. So we get to squeeze out the extra action, and that's going to be really, really handy. Um, 
Right, we do have to discard uh, down to the number of military actions you have, in our case, plus one because of the university. We don't have any mounted unit stuff, so we can trash that. I think Crusades and maybe Immigration will trash it as well. I'm going to be fine with that. Keep this as a nice defensive card, maybe help us getting some settlements as well. Yeah, no matter what, the university is going to be gone. Either someone will take it or it'll just get, it'll fall off the board before it comes around to us, which is a bit unfortunate. We might be in a good position to pick up iron or alchemy. Thing is, I don't think we need to worry about rushing alchemy. Ah, uh, okay, blue's the weakest player. If we were still at one, we would have been considered a weakest player. Um, in case of the tie, it's the current player's considered strongest, then the next player who's considered, you know, the next strongest and so on. So we would have been in a bad position for that. People are making packs with each other. Good for them. Um, if we could get Freddy, that would be fantastic. And in fact, we will. He's going to be a great way to um, build up our military. We're going to go ahead and drop the developed territory card. What pops? New deposit. We get some production out of it. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, I'm going to definitely want to grab and deploy Freddy. So he lets you um, build units. Um, he lets you both raise your population and build a unit in a single military action as opposed to a civic plus a military. And he lets you do it cheaper, which is really amazing. Um, certainly we're going to want to use his ability almost every turn. Keep strong. I mean, it's going to use up some resources. We're not growing our population this way. Um, I would like iron, but I'd also like to develop irrigation. I mean, we've got plenty of actions. Again, I think we can afford to sort of skip alchemy. Which is weird, because usually it's a no-brainer. And I think in this case, developing the irrigation first. And doing that. Okay, we're not going to waste any resources. That's good. We're still going to have infinity production for next turn. Maybe there'll be a wonder available. Um, I can play this card, a tactic, which will give me increased strength, which is great. We're not going to get to draw a card, like a, a politics card, but that's okay. I mean, we may be too strong. It would have been nice to draw some cards so that we could potentially attack one of these guys. But I'm still I'm still fairly pleased with my turn. I mean, maybe I didn't need to spend the tactic, and then I would have drawn one card. I don't know. Ooh, now this is interesting. Now, this is a great territory because it gives us extra yellow tokens. I tend to consider these extremely important. It does suck that our turn isn't is going to come after yellow so for two week we won't be able to defend ourselves against yellow i think i'm gonna have to pass i really wanted these tokens but i'm in a bad position because if i spend all my military on this yellow might just be able to really punish me how many how many military cards does he have uh close this a second yellow has got Three military cards. There's a good chance one of them's an attack. I'm gonna have to pass. <sighs> and assuming he can rebuild his military, he's gonna be in great shape. Even if he doesn't, probably no one can attack him because I don't, I don't have an attack card. Yeah, that is kind of disappointing. All right, he's gonna be developing some fancier units. He's back up to seven strength, just like that. If you're confused with what's going on with tactics, when you play a tactic, it's yours privately. No one else can use it right away. Uh, but then when it's your next turn, it goes into a common pool so everyone can use it. So, you know, your generals basically learn. We have nothing to do in politics, so we're going to skip that. Now, printing press is nice in that, like, normally it's strictly weaker than, um, than going alchemy and stuff like that. But in this case, it's not so bad because we actually really do want the culture build. The thing is, we don't have the population uh, to sustain that right now. So I think, first of all, what we're going to have to do is we're going to get a second irrigation going on so we get more food so we can continue to raise our population. That would be good. Um, and part of me is wondering if we just develop and build up iron right now. I mean, there's a bunch of things we'd like to grab, but I kind of feel like that's a fairly strong turn. We can still grab something. We could grab a rich land to be able to upgrade the last iron at a discount, which wouldn't be bad. We could grab monarchy. Usually I skip the tier two government and just pick up a tier three, uh, sorry, I pick up, I skip the tier one government and pick up a tier two instead. We do have the extra action from this, which is nice. We'd have to wait two turns before we could develop it, and that's assuming we don't develop any other tech. Um, part of me is very much debating picking up printing press. 
to continue to develop science and get culture. Although, just getting drama, which might be available for it, might be better, because we can get some happy faces and everything. So, with that in mind, I'm tempted to just grab a frugality. Either way, it's basically a discount of two things. With frugality, we could raise our population twice next turn. Or maybe only once, because I think... Oh, no, we can't do that. We've used all our production. I think I'm kind of okay with this. Although, I could grab printing press, simply because we'll have more just text developed, which can be worth all kinds of different points and things later on. I think anytime I, I'm, I'm sort of pausing this so long, I, I kind of sit and think that probably all the things are relatively even. So I'm just going to pick up Frugality. Uh, that's true. I could copy this tactic to get extra strength because this is worth two instead of just a one. However, I am going to just end turn as is so I can draw some cards instead. I don't need the extra one point of strength right now and I'd rather draw some cards. I'm, I'm kind of upset that we haven't been able to do more wonders here. We just kind of ended up with bad timing. I would have loved the university, but I don't regret the turn that I took instead. Um, Great Wall would be handy. St. Peter's Basilica would also be handy. This point, What we're looking for this game is anything that helps us generate culture. Are you really generating seven per turn? I mean, I know you've got Michelangelo, but god damn it. Scientific Breakthrough. All right, we get some more tech points. Sure, fine. We have Irrigation Iron already. Looks like we will be able to pick up Drama fairly well, though, and that makes me fairly happy. Politics phase. Yeah, I'll go and play the Border Conflict. That's okay. Wealthy Territory comes up. It's on my own turn, so I'll get first dibs at sort of rebuilding. Um, I'm going to do that um, plus this, just because three is going to be a bit more awkward for some of these people to play at against. Okay, we'll do it this way. That'll bring me up to five. Okay, this isn't as good as getting yellow pips, but it's still going to be fine. We'll basically be able to rebuild, and having the extra cubes could be handy um, a little bit later on. I mean, it's a little break even right now, but not too shabby. Um, so I think what we do is we start building the Great Wall. That's going to be okay. Um, we don't have to worry about spending this right away, which is good. Um, I'm going to go and use our frugality here to get a pip there. Now, what about the knight? Um, we could even develop it now. And I think the answer is yes. We do this. I will go ahead and develop a knight. Now, I won't have enough points to copy this tactic, unfortunately. Um, because it costs two to copy. So right now, I'll just build another swordman, maybe, to protect myself. Unless I just want to be able to draw. Oh, I can play my own version of this. Hmm. I mean, I don't have to. But I don't have any negative over here. So uh, rather than just spend Barbie again, because I think I can do it as many times as I want. Yeah. Um, this gives plus two strength, actually plus three with fighting band being in play. Um, if I just play this, I can save my resources. And still basically have the same strength. All right. I'm kind of OK with that. So the Great Wall is interesting. Um, okay, come on. So you get plus one strength for each of your infantry and cannon units. It doesn't really stack with a cavalry kind of thing, but that's okay. Oh, Genghis. Genghis is very strong. Blue is still crazy. Vast territory I really want. Really super lots of want. I really need some yellow pips at some point. Now this is gonna be very scary. Okay, we're doing it. I'm taking a huge risk here. But yellow pips are really important because as your yellow bank uh, depletes, it becomes much, much, much more expensive for you to recruit new people. So I'm sitting at a zero. Now that was on blue's turn. I'm pretty sure anyway. So blue couldn't attack me, but there you go. Uh, yellow does attack me. He's going to blow up one of my buildings. I think like it would have been better. You know, maybe I would have been lucky and he wouldn't have. Um, I was fully prepared for something to happen, and I think it's still better to have grabbed those yellow pips. Obviously, it would have been better to grab it in such a way that didn't hose us, but there you have it. Um, developing Warfare. I mean, strategy is better, but I think we'll go ahead and do this. We'll get an extra red pip, a little bit of a military by itself, which is nice. 
Um, we'll go ahead and Freddy up a couple of times, bring this back up to seven. We might do more. We have tons of stuff in the bank over here. And yeah, he blew up one of my, um, one of my labs, but that's okay. I don't have enough actions to complete the wonder production. Oops. Uh, Bread and Circus. I mean, we could spend a bunch of tokens to grab some stuff over here, but I don't think that's really what I'm looking for. Uh, and then I'm out of actions, unfortunately, but I'm up to nine strength, which isn't too bad. Um, we don't have negative, we don't have a, a shortage of blue cubes, which is helpful. That's thanks to one of our little colonies here. So, Bread and Circus is okay. Cultural heritage is just some points although it might not be the worst thing I don't want theocracy this is a discount of three right and then I could use the card reserves is also nice I think what I'm gonna do is go ahead and do this oh You'll notice um, every every step of the wonder you use a blue cube to mark the progress, so that would actually put us in a point where we'd have a supply shortage. So I'm just going to wait on that for next turn. Maybe we'll pick a reserves. It's not too shabby. Um, or why don't we rebuild our lab? I like that actually. Here you go. We still aren't making a ton of science. We're doing okay. Packed offer. Uh, I can use food as production, and he can go the other way around. Uh, sure. I like Joan of Arc. Oh, she's age one, though. I've already got an age one leader, so no. And I'm pretty happy with Barbie. He's been doing good stuff for us. Now, we still don't have any cards to do aggression stuff with, unfortunately, but at least we're protected. But yeah, blues are going to run away with this game, and I'm not sure there's anything I can do about it. Let's get politics. Uh, we'll go ahead and finish this. We'll get our cubes back. Um, yeah, just pay as is. That's going to be fine. So, you know, a little bit of extra culture per turn. We got the happiness as well, which is going to help for some things. Um, I'm thinking I am going to grab drama over here. If I develop it now, I can't actually do anything with it yet. So what I might do is just grab masonry. Because that will let us do things slightly more efficiently as we go forward. Um, and then with Barbie here, I'm going to use one action to... I don't need to use the pack to do that. We have no negative cubes over here. We now have 15 strength, two actions left, so we'll actually get to draw some cards. Um, no, I will just end the turn here. You can always use his ability later to recruit things. Uh, that is not entirely helpful, although if we get another uh, colonization. So age two has just started. Uh, we all lose two yellow cubes from our civilization bank, which is another good reason to grab it. Pestilence, everyone loses a pop. Mine's just an idle worker, so I don't have to, you know, I didn't go through the trouble of building a building that then has to be taken down, which is handy. Be a lot handier if I could actually attack someone since I'm in such a good military position. Between the, like, wonders coming in at awkward timing and now this, things are a little bit annoying. Hopefully I can grab Taj. That would help a fair bit. Grabbing Republic would also be nice, too. I don't know where it's going to be in the queue. There's strategy, which I prefer a lot more to Warfare. Wow, that was grabbed aggressively. Um, but we'll take what we can do. So people are doing packs. Uh-huh. And Genghis isn't getting his free culture because he's not one of the top two nations, which is at least helping that. But Blue's still running away with things. Uh, ah, he grabbed the Taj Mahal. Crap. I sort of suspected we wouldn't. it wouldn't last for us, but it would have been nice. Um, I like running Republic. I mean, there's many things we might want to run. We will grab the Republic here. Um, we might grab Alchemy. I mean, the next here is coming up soon and it would cost us two to pick that up which is a little less than grand passive strength a little better uh, colonization as well i guess we'll probably revolt to a republic 
Yeah. That should be fine. We can do that next turn. And we've got negative stuff here, so I may as well spend. There we go. And, uh, well, I mean, if we get an aggro card, then we might want to have more strength. But if we boost our strength more by using military actions, we are drawing less cards. So I'm just going to hit end turn. And give us two draws and hope we get something useful. At this point, even an event would be okay. Oh, we could start a war with someone. Now that would be nice. No discontent workers, so that's okay. Like, Blue's weak and otherwise leading. I would love to run a war against him, especially with Barbie, because what we could do is declare war and then massively build up our military. Declaring the war does take us some of our military actions. Uh, Yeah, we can do a Republic Revolt. That would be fine, because we don't need any reciprocal actions this turn. So we could declare war, re revolt, and then use Barbarossa's ability to build up our military. And that wouldn't be too bad. I mean, I would love to grab Scientific Method. I would like to grab Cannons. Huh. It's interesting. I think War Over Territory grabs Yellow Dots. I think that's worth it, but... Dang. Yeah, we take some yellows. Yeah, we, we have to. We'll declare against the weakest. Um, okay, I guess I could choose not to rebel or to revolt to Republic. I can't develop scientific method this turn, though. But I could still grab stuff. Um, would I prefer... Oh, I've already picked up Republic. I was going to say, would I prefer to pick up the Constitutional Monarchy? I think we can skip Selective Breeding. We're not going to need that. we're out of actions, but we're now 23 strength. So we do still have one more um, civic action. I think I'll raise my pop just to not have a deficit of stuff over here. I mean, we could have developed drama, but there's no, there's no real rush in terms of what order we do things in there. Okay. So we're going to strengthen ourselves with the war. We're also going to be hurting the person who's otherwise doing uh, the best. Uh, the fact that blue is going to lose something here is also really nice because that's going to hurt his ability to build up a military. So he, whether he chooses food or production, either he'll you know not be able to raise his pop or he won't be able to recruit the units. So that's going to be good. Red's doing something. Lots of thinking. Cavalry men. I mean, that makes sense for red. Uh, Genghis can treat infantry... Uh, I guess it doesn't matter that much. Genghis can treat infantry as though it was cavalry for the purpose of tactics. He's not running a uh, cavalry tactic anyway. Uh, oh, everyone produces food, so he's going to have plenty of food. He's got some resources in the bank. Got some cavalry there. Doesn't have a ton of military tech. Okay, he goes up to 12. Okay, so we're going to steal two yellow pips from him. We could have been in a position to steal three, but two. I mean, it's a four-point swing for the pips. It's still, it's pretty notable. Oh, you're attacking red, not yellow? Or, sorry, not blue? I guess red is weaker right now, so, sure, fair enough. I don't remember if we get a politics phase. Um, or if the war resolution is the politics phase. I can never remember. I think we do still get one, though. Alright, yellow's moving some things. I think you just uh, dismantle mine. That's something I don't do very often. I probably should do more often. I don't know. So here's the war resolution. Oh, we are choosing three. Oh, you take one plus one for every one. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Thought it was just the difference. Okay, yeah. So just winning and then for every five. Yeah, all right. So cool. Three pips. So again, that's a six point swing with the person who is otherwise leading the pack. He's not making as much uh, culture as he used to because he had to switch leaders, but still only a 27 versus their many. Um, I do have a politics phase, but I can't do anything with it because why would I? Um, and my hand is full. I think... I think I, I do flip to the Republic. The sooner we do it, the sooner we get more pips. Um, we'll switch to it, and we will do the breakthrough. 
to get our science points back. So I have no civic actions because of the revolution, uh, but we can, and I will go ahead and uh, and do that. And another one, and we're still got the negative over there, which is sort of awkward. And I'd rather not. But I would also like to draw cards. Hang on, back up, back up. Okay, so we're still sitting at minus two. Even without hot recruiting any of these guys, it's just gonna be a minus two. So I'm gonna be fine with that. We're still stronger, we're not worried about losing out on that. Um, I'm, I'd rather end turn and draw more cards. And then have more resources for the next turn, because maybe we can build some sort of wonder. Kremlin makes people a little bit unhappy, but it is some more culture without having to dedicate people to it. So yeah, selective breeding and probably coal, we will actually be okay to bypass since we've got the level two version, we'll, or the level one version, we'll want the level three. I, I get confused because there's the antiquities version, you know, the level zero version. Um, but yeah, we'll want the level three tech in the end, you know, oil and I don't know, whatever it's called there. Uh, develop territory, yeah, I'd like to grab it. We've got tons of troops kicking around. So let's go and send a pair like that so we can get the combo and everything. We will bid eight. We got a nine over there. These cards are going to go away soon, so we may as well spend them. There we go. We'll take that. It's an extra yellow pip, uh, which is okay. I mean, you know, I don't know if it's worth spending all that, but it's okay. We're not we're not being left being the weakest. We're still in a position where we can rebuild extraordinarily quickly. I'm fine with this. Border conflict. All right. Weakest has got to do stuff. I'm not the strongest, so I don't get the uh, production, but... It's not the end of the world. Important thing is not to be the weakest. Organize religion. Yeah, I'd be very happy with grabbing the Kremlin. And it's got the unhappy face, but if we develop our um, our drama, that's not too bad. Or maybe just team sports. So we could do aggressive action here. Cost me two pips to do. And it looks like... It would tell me here if I could do something with it, so there's no there's no benefit to it. So we'll just pop another event. That's going to be okay. We'll pop this. We're not in the weakest. Barbarians. Tax something. Good. Oh, yeah. Yep, that's good there. Uh, yeah, we'll take the Kremlin. We're going we're gonna to grab the team sports, because it's going to pay off well for us. We do need to get our culture going. Well, I could just finish this. You know what? Let's do it. It's culture and some extra actions. And I'm going to get the scientific method. Up like that. Substantially boost our science because we have tons of science cards to play out. And then, yeah, we can't do anything here. Was there something we could copy? I mean, the game will let us know, but not really. Okay, that's fine. Well, we'll have lots of cards to choose from. These guys might boost their strength. By the time our turn comes around, we might actually be the weakest. But I'm not feeling too bad about our position. That way. Still don't like the fact that we haven't generated, like, a trillion freaking culture points. <sighs> but we got ourselves another culture wonder. We've got quite a few actions now, which is good. I'm definitely feeling good about the number of actions. I'd like it maybe a little bit more military actions, like if we had grabbed um, uh, strategy instead. Whose turn is it? It's blue. Blue keeps popping these. I can honestly... I think I'm just going to pass on this. I'm hoping they, they fight a bunch and spend a bunch of resources on this. Yeah. All right. Totally okay with this. It does give you two permanent military strength, and then the three cards, which is handy. But... I think I was just better off leaving my cards now. We will want to go and replace our leader relatively soon. Um, when age three starts, Barbie's going to go away. I don't think I need Robespierre. He works best when you... Ooh, a war. Um, when you uh, are planning on doing revolution. But I don't think we're doing another government change. Or at least we're not planning on one anytime soon. Do, do, do. Oh, he just republiced for the full price. Okay. Um... Yeah, I don't think we're going to do this. Uh, I'll load up this. I do have a boost because of this. Refugees. I'm not the strongest, but that's okay. All right, so 
architecture and justice system are both upgrades over buildings I already have. So it's a marginal kind of gain, which is a little unfortunate. Same thing with strategy. Um, opera is an upgrade over drama, which we haven't really worked with anyway yet. I think what's going to happen, we are going to develop the opera. And, ooh, I can't actually put someone in there right now. Because we don't have enough production. Uh, speaking of, you should get upgraded. And yeah, we can use the pack to keep the production on that side. That's going to be okay. Um, take that, and possibly this for future turns. And then I think what I'll do is I'll just deploy or develop Opera. Possibly cannon. Do we have a cannony tactic? I've got one. Maybe. Let me put down Team Sports. I sort of foresee it might be slightly more likely for us to um, need to do that. Man, it's only four as well. But we're not unhappy right now, so it's okay. Could grab another card from here. I think I'll just develop another population. And then... I know we don't have a whole lot of strength, but I uh, actually let me back that up. We're gonna do a knight instead. Because it might be more likely that I do cannon plus knights and use this strategy. Just want to be a little stronger. Can I? Oh, I can use this one. Yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. Alright, I like that. No, we'll just end the turn, that's fine. Um uh, wait, can't hold on. Can still use this action? No, I can't. I, I'm not rich enough for it. Oh, I can use it to build a warrior. Yeah, no, that's fine. Um, this could still be useful for a while. The infiltration's a little awkward. It is an attack, but it's not actually a useful one at this time. I mean, maybe if someone like you know starts doing something, then then maybe. But I think I'm okay with just ditching that. Trade routes is done. All right. That was his political action. Uh, there's some decent wonders here. Nothing culturally. We really have to build up the opera. Um, sure, you get ore, I get food. As long as I get something, I'm not going to say no, most likely. Cavalry might have been nice. We might want to pick up the rifles, but I don't know. War outcome, that's a lot of science stolen by yellow, so he's in good shape there. Is that against blue? I think it was. Which is good. Although now yellow's production or culture return is pretty big. He got the Taj Mahal. Which is part of the frustration there. What I should probably do is put a cut in here. Because we're already at almost 40 minutes. And we're about halfway through the game actually. So I think this is going to work out okay. So we're going to do that. Thank you very much for watching folks. We're going to uh, continue this next time. Where again we'll probably just lose. <laughs> see you then. Ooh, Eiffel Tower, though. Mmm, nice. All right, see you next time.